Hi Sagittarius, happy birthday loveys. All right, so let's see what's going on with you guys for the first half of December 2018. Now I'm gonna ask you to go with me and flow with me on this one here because I'm gonna do something a little bit different, all right? So first card we have out, Sag, 10 of Pentacles, what? Already, then followed by the, the Knight of Pentacles, y'all. And then we have the Six of Cups. Under the Ten of Pentacles, we have Eight of Wands. Under the Knight of Pentacles, we have Justice. Yes. And then under the um, Six of Cups, we have Ace of Swords. Yes, darling, yes. Bottom of the deck, the overall energy is Wish Granted. All right, so wish is coming true. It's on its way to you, lovey. It's coming in slowly but surely. We're getting there. Um, so let's see, Ten of Pentacles. So the only signs that I see here thus far is do do do, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and Libra. But you could be dealing with it's, you know it could just be the energies. Anyways. So, it's like, financially, you guys are set. You guys are on the way, moving forward with it. You're, you're going forward towards victory and success. You're going towards that, that abundance. This could be solo abundance, like you, you're financially well off. You have a business that's booming. Um, if you are you know have a family, boom, you have a family. And this is like, you know, very abundant. Lots of love, lots of good times together, even bad times, but still very, you know, you, this is what you wanted, this is your dream could true, this is you sharing it with somebody, and it's slowly coming in, and it's with somebody you've, like, met in your past life, if you believe in reincarnation, and if you don't, then it's somebody in the past this lifetime but it's like we have karma here so it's time for for movement communication in regards to karma like some type of balance is happening right this is, could be like an awakening and this is the veil and it's getting thinner and thinner and there's like truth and clarity coming in so this could be like truth and clarity in regards to like you know an epiphany you find this within yourself this could be truth and clarity in regards to a legal situation. Now, if you, there is a legal situation, somebody either is owed or is owing a large sum of money, and there could be something legal going on, okay? But truth and clarity is going to come out, and basically karma is going to win, okay so if you were the one doing good good karma in good karma out bad karma in bad karma out all right now this could also be in something that happened like back back in a past lifetime so there could have been a karmic debt that you owe or somebody owes you sag but it's coming in and it's going to come in quickly now this could be news about travel as well um But yeah, so far I'm seeing it's like good side on you because you get your wish granted, right? So let's move on. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so the next sets of cards. So we have Queen of Swords clarifying the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is like... This could also represent like a boss. This could represent a lawyer or a judge. Um, because this person would be looking at facts only. Not involved in emotions, nothing like that. This is completely objective, not subjective, okay? So there could be like lots of clear communication in regards to money. Um, or in regards to whatever is valuable to you, okay? And then we have the Empress, yes, darlings, clarifying this Knight of Pentacles and this Justice. So this could be a Taurus or a Libra again. Um, but 
something steady, something like slow, slowly but surely building that foundation, building that abundance. This could also be like a legal situation in regards to a business. Something goes in your favor and then abundance is coming in. It's going to be trickling in a steady pace. So it's like, you know, like if you get like this, um, you're owed a, you know, there's a lawsuit or something for $100,000, then it's like it's divvied up to where it's sufficient and it's slowly coming in like, you know, 250 a year or whatever, okay? So that's what I'm seeing in that sense. And then we have the king of King? Knight of Coins again, clarifying the Six of Cups and the Ace of Swords. So this again um, is something in that that has been handled in the past. Um, there was something in the past, and it came back to to the surface. I would assume uh, it came back during um, a time period where there was truth and clarity and. Um, And it's like, it's a gift is what I'm seeing. It's a gift from karma. And it's like now with two knights here, we have a chariot. So there is going to be four movement communication in regards to something that happened. Somebody's going to find victory in regards to a situation that they needed clarity on. And something that happened back in the past that you've dealt with this before. Right, but it didn't come out in your favor. So the bottom of the deck and the clarifying energy here is the star. So this is again dusted and faded. This is something that you wish for. There's your wish, wish granted, wish granted. I mean, wish granted, loveys. All right, so let's go into deck three. All right, so clarifying the Queen of Swords and the Empress. So a lot of communication, a lot of people. Okay. So the Queen of Swords and the Empress is being clarified by Two of Swords. So this could be like, uh, for some, this is in regards to a job situation. Because um, Pentacles could be like, you know, where you get your money from. Which is all about the Pentacles, baby, right? Um, but there's like some type of uh, four movement communication. Like you clearly know, like you get this mental aha moment as to what you want to do. You want to be the queen of La Casa. You want to go from this queen to an empress. You want to build your own empire. But the thing is, now you're stuck in a decision. Do I let go of my job that thus far has built my abundance? Or do I stay? Um, what actions should I be taking should I move slowly but surely into this or should I go like the wind? All right, so clarifying the Empress and the Knight of Coins is <laughs> judgment. So there is a call to action. There is a decision that needs to be made with in regards to rather you want to be your own boss and build your own empire or do your own business or rather you cut something out that no longer serves. Um, and again, just take control of your own life like how you see fit. All right, bottom of the deck, the overall energy for this one is, let's see, Ace of Swords again. So again, truth and clarity. Now this could be, again, from within or from, you know, externally. All right. All right, last set of cards, lovies. So clarifying the Two of Swords and Judgment is... Oh, I don't think I need the thingy to see it, but it does kind of help. The Ace of Cups. It's love. What do you choose, Satch? What is it that you love? What is it that you have a second chance to do and to do it right? Take the blindfolds off. Follow your heart. Quit listening to this. Quit listening to everybody else. It's like this opportunity is coming back to you. You know what it is. 
you know what it is. And this time, we have justice. This time, karma is backing you up. This time, karma is bringing you this opportunity. So it's time to make a judgment call. It's time to take that action. It's time to do what you know you need to do. And if you don't know what you need to do, it's something that you thought of, that you didn't think that would ever work. Bottom of the deck, overall energy for this clarifying card. Four swords. So anytime you go into these worries, anytime you have fears, anytime you don't know what to do, you want truth and clarity, rest from it. Get it out your head. And like, you know, if you keep pondering and pondering and pondering, you're going to go into worries, fears, and anxieties. You're going to be stuck in the blindfold, right? Because, you know, Sag, we do that. We overthink. We're kind, you know, we're that other half of Gemini. We overthink. We don't know when to stop overthinking. So it's asking you to stop overthinking. Like, give it a rest, give it a break. And then, you know, when you're not even thinking about it, just like, you know, a lot of things. When you're not looking for it, boom, you find it. When you're not looking for it, boom, you find it. Not only once. Where'd it go? Anyways, there were two. I could have swore there was two. Anyways, yeah, this is going to come to you. This is going to bring you truth and clarity. All right, so let's go into the romance angel cards. Three cards for you, lovies. The first card says, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Now, if this is a person from your past or past lifetime, or you've known this person before, this person shows up different. There's something different about them. All right. Then we got, this could be the one. Oh, gosh. You've already met the partner, romantic partner you seek. Six of Cups. You've already met them. Destined and faded events. All right, see the Empress. Yes. All right, and then the last card just says, "Release your ex. Time to clear your energies." So, if it's an ex partner that either you or your partner is dealing with, they're going to release it. They're going to walk away. I'm feeling really good about it. I mean, come on, you got, you got the star. You got the nine of cups. <laughs> Wish is coming true. And then we have, oh my gosh, second chance. A call to action, second chance. This person is coming back to you. Ace of cups, they bring love. All right. And then right here, boom, the empress. What does she bring? She, oh, and by the way, somebody could be pregnant. Sorry. <laughs> Boom. Like abundance. Abundance. And then this could also be like, hey, this person wants to like, there's some, there could be like legal documents pertaining to a home situation. There could be a divorce that's happening slowly but surely. Um, but this is something that has came into fruition because somebody wanted it. Somebody dreamed of it. Somebody put, you know, that law of attraction out there to do it. They took the practical steps and actions they need to do to go towards that goal. Awesome. All right. Angel Answer says, there's something better. Remember what I said in regards to that Queen of Swords and that Empress? So is it like that you want to be controlled? Or do you want to be your own boss? And see... We have the Nine of Swords, and then we have the Emperor. All right, and that was under the the um, 
the star and the the nine of cups so you're having fears worries anxieties or you're getting over them actually you're starting to get over it is what i'm seeing like you don't want to be controlled anymore you want to be your own boss you want to you know you want to take control of your own life you understand that there is a lot better things and there are things that you want to manifest for your own self okay so the next card says ask for help from others so understanding that there is a lovely balance with karma um good karma in good karma out bad karma in bad karma out basically the karma that you pave today is going to be the karma that helps you in the future so the karma that you're going in through now is just a balancing of the scales of a previous lifetime okay so do remember that um and ask help from others people are here to help you people are here i mean you're help, here to help other people too so giving that equal give and take bringing that balance okay bottom of the deck and the overall energy says a year from now so there could be any questions in regards to when can i see this abundance when if i do like what's my return of investment um, if I do my own business, it could be a year from now. I don't know. Whatever, I mean, however this is going to resonate with you as far as the time frame goes, okay? So that is what I have for you, Sag. I hope that you uh, this message resonated. If it did, hit that thumbs up. Comment down below. If it did not, check back towards the middle of the month. Um, and if it still did not, check out the description box below. I got some sales going on. All my readings are under $20 USD. And this is good until December 15th, my birthday. All right. So, Saj, good luck, much love, and much light. Namaste.